Oh. Crazy hair problems. Do you like guacamole? Do you like Mexican food? Then this is the recipe that you need to save. It's one of the recipes you need in your basic recipe arsenal. It's an easy, authentic guacamole recipe, and you do not need any cooking skills. It's just something quick and easy that you can just whip up in a couple of minutes. And everybody likes it. I really don't know anybody that doesn't like guacamole. Unless you're a little bit weird. In that case, you don't like guacamole. Here are the ingredients. You're gonna need a couple of sprays of cilantro, fresh cilantro. You'll need about five cherry tomatoes, four Haas avocados, one lime. We also have fresh garlic, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of cayenne, and half of a red onion diced really, really fine. Just chop up a few cherry tomatoes and make sure that you're doing a small dice. You don't want to have a gigantic piece of tomato in your guacamole. That's actually a good amount. You just want to have about a fistful of your tomatoes. Next you want to small dice a red onion. And the reason why I like to use this red onion is because it adds awesome color. And it also is a lot sweeter than a regular onion. Since we're not cooking any of these ingredients, you want them to be as fine as possible. Next, you're gonna take your clove of garlic, and I like to use my little garlic peeler. Smash it, roll it, and voila! The paper comes off pretty easily. So we gotta chop this really super fine cause, again, it's going in raw. And another trick is I use a little bit of salt, a little pinch of salt. Use the edge of your knife and kinda slide it. This is gonna get the garlic even finer. Okay, next you wanna take your cilantro, make sure you pull it off of the stem here. Get it in a kind of close, compact quarters. Just start running your knife over it. Plus it's springtime. We need to add fresh herbs and everything. All right, so take the avocado, watch your fingers, wiggle it around a little bit, make sure it's soft, and the pit should come right out. Usually take a napkin, just pop that right off of the knife there. Now next, you're just gonna scoop out the flesh, the good stuff scoop this out. So to ripen your avocados a little bit quicker, what I do is I place them into a brown paper bag. This will enable the avocado to get a little bit riper a little bit quicker. So we're scooping everything out. Release some of the juices here. Take my knife, cut it in half. Limes always look so pretty. Look how pretty. Take my juicer, place that in there, and we are gonna just squeeze, get all the juice, use some muscle. You gotta use that bicep. Get that bicep into it. I like using the potato masher better because I like my guacamole to be chunky. Using some muscle, we gotta just start smashing. You can see that this is really easy to work with. That looks pretty good. Next, we're gonna add all of our ingredients. I like to add the teaspoon of cumin, the teaspoon of cayenne, and the one clove of garlic. Just gonna put all of that in there. All right, so we're mixing in our spices, our garlic. Okay, next we're gonna take our small diced red onion. Now, you can eye it up from here. If that looks like enough to you, then just go for it. Again, you can adjust these ingredients however you'd like. Uh, if you want to add more onion, a little bit more uh, zing, then be my guest. Next, we're gonna add our chopped tomatoes. We're gonna add our cilantro, dump that in there, 
and we're also going to do just a pinch of salt. Now, the pinch of salt, we're going to have to taste test this a little bit later. I'll do two pinches. Might actually go back and adjust that. But again, that's what your taste test is for. It's starting to look very festive, very Cinco de Mayo. Yes, now we gotta add an acid, which is the lime juice. I'm gonna pour that all around. And also the secret to not getting your guacamole brown is to place plastic wrap on top of the guacamole so it actually sticks to it kind of like a skin so um because the air the oxygen is what makes it oxidize and what makes it turn brown so we want our guacamole to look nice and green so i just plated it up in a little bit of a prettier bowl here can add a little extra sprig of cilantro for presentation. Always got to make it look pretty. So you eat with your eyes first, right? Use your favorite corn tortillas. I mean, come on. How is this not delicious looking? Oh, so beautiful. Look at that. That is a fiesta in the bowl. Taste test time. Gotta leave a little bit of everything in this. Hmm. Oh yes, you are making this tonight. Oh, so good. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Cinco de Mayo.